I'm Sagar Loniel, and I'm here with Blood Cancers Today, and we're going to talk a little bit about the impact of recent data on CAR T cells and how to incorporate them into your daily practice. I'm joined by two esteemed colleagues. My name is Nupur Rajay. I work at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center in Boston, and I'm really excited to be talking about the T-cell-directed therapies in multiple myeloma today. And I'm Karina Patel. I'm an associate professor at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, and CAR-T is my favorite thing. I'm not biased at all, so thank you for inviting me. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I think we've talked a lot about approved agents and where we think those are going to go, how to intersperse it with current, uh, with current treatment paradigms. What does the future look like? What are we anticipating, whether it's uh, what you described in your trial about using short duration biospecific maintenance, or new products. I mean, I remember five years ago, there were like seven different BCMA cars that were out there. Now that's dried up just a little bit. Um, what do you think the future is going to hold in terms of new products, new trials, new approaches to make a car better? Yeah. So, you know, I do think there's room for more cars, right? We are just at the beginnings of the whole car uh, T uh, cell experience. I think it's great that we've seen the response rates we've seen. We need to do a whole lot better with durability of response. We're talking about cure earlier. Well, 36 months is great, but we want to do better. Um, so I do think having more cars in this space is going to be important. Having other targets is something it mm -hmm. cannot all be about VCMA. Mm -hmm. We already have other cars with GPCR 5D, etc., uh, accessible and available. Uh, in the old days, I would have said, you know, an autologous car is probably not the best option if we hadn't seen the kinds of response rates uh, right. we've seen. Um, so, uh, allogeneic cars would be for. I think a subset of myeloma patients were not able to make cars, which is really not that many. Right. It's a small minority. And the future, we've got to be able to use some of these immun immunotherapies either sequentially. I don't think you can look at them in isolation. Right. How can we build on the TCEs, the CARs, and how can we combine them to improve on the durability and still do something like a fixed duration. Mm -hmm. So we do not want to have patients on treatment forever. And that would be the definition of cure. And I do think we have the tools where we're going to be able to get there. Yeah. I think, you know, it's interesting you brought up the, the 36 months and how do we make that better? How do we increase the cure fraction? I don't know about you, but every patient that I see for a transplant consult says, well, can I get a car instead of a transplant? And my sort of response is the best PFS we've seen is about 33 to 36 months. I can give you 65 months with a transplant and line maintenance. So do you really want to take that change? Do we really know that? And, and I know there are trials going on now to answer that question, but, uh, but I, I, I'm not quite sure we're there yet. Right. No, I agree. I, I think the potential is definitely there. These yeah. are more targeted. Um, but I do think if we want to see that cure fraction go up, it is going to be multi-antigen, multi-mechanism of action in the right sequence to really clear that bone marrow and mm -hmm. hopefully help their own immune cells, you know, instead of an aloe transplant, right? How do we mimic that without doing a full-on aloe transplant? Um, but I agree, everything Nupur said is the most important part of this, the patient's quality of life, as well as keeping their PFS, hopefully, again, um, a real cure, not even just a functional cure. Mm -hmm. I'm a millennial, so I have uh, <laughs> these hopes and dreams. Um, but I think the other thing, other immune therapies, like immunomodulatory drugs, right, or cell mods, I mean, how are you gonna put those in with this? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's um, the, the future is really, really, I think it'll be pretty pretty amazing to continue doing all this work. Yeah, no, I think it, I think it is exciting time, and other products that are doing more rapid manufacturing things along right, those exactly. lines will hopefully narrow, and so that the pool of people will increase, not decrease. Yeah. I think that's really uh, really exciting stuff coming on. Well, thank you again. I think it's been a great discussion. <laughs>